So, hello smarties and welcome to my channel. So this is going to be another interesting moment again because you're going to be looking at the problem solving involved in electronic configuration. Now, it's kind of simple enough to look at the electronic configuration for period 2 element. However, we're just going to focus more on the third row of the element. We're just going to neglect a particular block called the D block and why the D block? The D block has transition metals involved in it very interesting chemistry goes on around there and they are mostly involved in catalysis involved in organic chemistry which we will be focusing later in this particular channel but anyways guys we are going to look at the D block over on we are going to neglect the D block and focus more on the second row or third row in the periodic table we have sodium Magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, and argon. So, in this case, electronic configuration. We know for sodium, we're going to have a 3s2. Nope, it's actually 3s1. Why is it 3s1? The reason why it's 3s1 is because it's in the first group. In the periodic table and that is 1a and 1a shows that the valence electrons in it out to show in the d in the third row is one electron now this increases in number of electrons in its outer shell and we go further by using magnesium now we are going from 3s1 to 3s2 fantastic next one we have aluminium adding one more electron 3s1 3s2 and now we are going to include the 3p that is one so the p orbitals which involves the lobes are now coming into play and now the electron over here is further outside and when this is involved in reactions this one electron will be removed first so in the other case here we have silicon and uh, silicon interesting compound um, elements over here uh, we have 3s2 3p2 pretty much has the same properties with carbon but this guy is pretty much interesting because you use them mostly in separation of various of organic compounds or mostly polar compounds involved or present in an inorganic compound or organic compound but anyways, next and foremost we have phosphorus 3s2 3p3. Now we have sulfur which has 3s2 3p4. We have phosphorus. We have 3s2. 3p5 and in oh sorry not phosphorus chlorine and finally argon 3s2 3p6 so that's about it for all these various elements that are in period 3 and they are in the third electronic shell and they all contain the 3s orbitals and the 3p orbitals and some of them also has the 3d orbitals but all of them doesn't have electrons in it at all but anyways guys thanks again for watching this and please don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe and don't forget that we post more videos involved in organic chemistry and this is just a really little background of what to expect in terms of distribution of electrons in atoms overall have a good day guys peace love you all bye